What exactly are Asian carp? Who are responsible for outcompeting native fish and getting them to the brink of extinction and massive decrease in population in America? They have been termed invasive throughout the United States. Asian carp is the collective term used in the United States for several species of fish native to Asia. Out of which four species have had the most devastating impact on local fish population? Which are the grass, silver, bighead, and black carp? Let's find out in detail what exactly is happening. Welcome to Finding Fishes, let's get started. Before we start, let's know what exactly is an invasive species. Invasive species are plants and animals that have been moved, typically over long distances, outside of their native habitat and into a new region, impacting the other species that live there. Invasive does not refer to a species as a whole, but rather to particular populations of that species based on location. Some carp were introduced intentionally in the 1970s, used in aquaculture facilities to clean algae and snails from the water, but accidental releases also occurred during high waters and flooding. Eventually, different species of carp established a presence in a number of waterways. The biggest problem with the spread of Asian carp is that some species are out competing native fish for plankton and decreasing their populations. Bighead and silver carp have had a documented negative impact on native fish species in the Mississippi River and many of its connected waterways. While there is no system-wide research illustrating the overall impact of Asian carp, research in Missouri over the course of two decades of monitoring showed that as populations of silver carp increased, populations of bigmouth buffalo decreased. Bighead carp outcompeted native paddlefish for food resources in experimental pond studies, possibly due to dietary overlap. These fish consume large amounts of food each day, primarily plankton, and their overall impact on species that share their food sources is unknown. Commercial fishermen earn money based on the value of the fish they catch. When compared to other native species in the Mississippi River Basin, like catfish, Asian carp have little monetary value. The Asian immigrant communities, where carp is most popular prefer to purchase fish liver recently killed, meaning Asian carp would have to be transported live from the river, which is typically prohibitively expensive and sometimes illegal, given their classification as an invasive species. Silver carp have a unique quality, when compared to other Asian carp species, they propel themselves out of the water when startled by light and sound. Scientists suspect this could be a predator avoidance behavior, but no firm cause for their jumping activity is known, and the behavior isn't seen in their native Asia, likely because the fish are harvested and eaten at 1 pounds to 3 pounds and not allowed to reach 20 pounds to 30 pounds, like many silver carp in American waterways. National Wildlife Federation officials fear someone may be killed by a silver carp sooner rather than later, as boaters have been knocked out of crafts unconscious during encounters with the fish. Grass carp are only capable of digesting around half of the grass that they consume each day, with the remaining material being expelled into the water, enriching it and promoting algal blooms, which can reduce water clarity and decrease oxygen levels. One analysis of the ecological effects of grass carp found an overall negative impact as well as an alteration of water quality in stocked areas. There have been more and more innovative ideas from across the states to counter this invasive carp and get them in control, hope this issue is solved soon. Do let me know in comments if you have any solution how this can be controlled. That's it for today guys, hope you really enjoyed the video, keep supporting us and stay tuned for more such interesting videos. Finding fishes remember the name.